Now it's very important to understand that okay we understood there are 64 pH preamble okay now the question come that how exactly that 64 pH preamble generated and this is this is this is very what you can say very important uh, aspect to understand and I have already mentioned you about so there if you are talking about there is one of the important thing that we need to discuss is root sequence index pH config index we have already discussed and pH frequency offset already discussed we are going to discuss about root sequence index high speed flag and zero correlation zone which is going to help in generating 64 pH preamble sequence okay and I will go with the technical definition and I will take the example also that how exactly we can define this three definitions okay so if we are talking about the root sequence index okay so you can see the root sequence index so here it is 100 I will take the example and try to understand the significance also but try to understand what exactly root sequence index is telling us and what is the definition if we have if we'll go with the definition root sequence index indicates that which specific jf2 sequence the cell uses the first okay so for uh rash procedure okay so we are having uh 839 jf2 sequence from 839 64 preamble is going to be generated okay so what exactly your root sequence index is giving root sequence index is telling that which specific jf2 sequence the cell going to use first so you can say the starting point okay and the mobile device then create as many as cyclic shift from that particular sequence okay to generate the 64 preamble now we will try to understand i will take one example also to let you understand about this try to understand what is zero correlation zone role in this so what zero correlation zone is you can say one of the setting that is going to control that how many cyclic shift a mobile is going to or your UV is going to create from one jf2 sequence okay so if you if you if, if you gonna check if you're gonna take one of the example or to understand what exactly this means so root sequence index you can consider the base sequence okay or uh, if you'll take an example also like uh, root sequence index is nothing but your alphabet there are 26 alphabets okay so it is like alphabet and all preambles 64 preamble that we are talking are that are words the 64 preamble is nothing but these are the words which are generated or made from these particular alphabets now the question come how so or you can say the root sequence index what exactly it is giving the starting point let's suppose if i'm taking the 100 100 we have said so it is going to tell this is the starting point from where exactly you are going to generate the sequence okay and if you are talking about the zero correlation zone config okay so zero correlation zone it's going to define the cyclic shift between the multiple shift. i have told you that this is the starting point from where exactly multiple sequence is going to be generated and how that sequence is going to be generated so the root sequence basically divided into small small chunks 
okay that we call it as a cyclic shift small small with the small small shift it is going to generate the unique sequence okay so each cyclic shift or chunk that we are talking about okay uh, that is that creates a different version of sequence multiple sequence okay so what exactly zero correlation zone config is giving you zero correlation zone config defines the cyclic shift between the sequence okay or you can say the step size okay let's suppose this is one sequence generated so the second sequence generated after this particular step site this is what exactly your zero correlation zone config in a very simple manner you can understand in okay now what is high speed flag so high speed flag gonna give you the understanding let's suppose if your uv is moving slow or fast so that it can identify between the cyclic shift okay so whenever it is going to be slow then we need to choose different uh, we need to choose different uh, zero correlation uh, zone config set that cyclic shift ncs we'll discuss on that okay so if if we are going with the slow moving object okay then we need to go with unrestricted set if you are going with the fast moving then we need to go with the I, I will go with the calculation let me first of all understand this i believe that this particular part is clear to you that how exactly it is going to be what exactly the significance of this and now we will understand with the example so here root sequence index is 100 it means this particular is the starting point from where exactly it will start doing the cyclic shift and it will keep doing the cyclic shift till your 64 preamble generated okay and what exactly the cyclic shift uh, uh, what you can say the duration or uh, the side step size that is nothing but your zero correlation zone config okay now try to understand that with the example that how exactly it is mapped <coughs> sorry how exactly it is mapped or how exactly we are going to define the root sequence so this is the 3gpp table okay so this 3gpp table has put that physical root sequence that is denoted by mu okay this that is these are the values 839 jw sequence so they are in a, they are put based on the 3gpp they are put it in a small small bucket you can see which is defined by the 3gpp so that it will be easy for the configuration purpose and to be understood by the uv or the system very easily so logical root sequence we have given as per the 3gpp it has given like 0 to 23 we are going to use this physical root sequence within this bag we are going to use this so likewise bag has been defined so if i am going to take the example with above so what was the example what was the root sequence index that is 100 if the root sequence is 100 what is the value of mu then so you will see the bag so it is coming under this bag okay you can see this is 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 98 99 100 so 636 is your mu value that is the physical root sequence and that is going to be used by uh, the system further for the 
uh, in calculation so we are having this mu value as a 636 because we are having the root sequence hence this particular sequence will be used as a starting point to derive that 64 preamble now what is the value of zero correlation zone config 12 so if you will gonna see this zero correlation zone config 12 and what is high speed flag high speed flag value is false false is basically used for slow moving uv and let's suppose that e node b is near the railway track or highway their high speed flag settings we need to make it as a true so that the slow moving uvs it is uh, uh, fast moving uv and slow moving uv will not get confused so if the value is false it is means it means that it is a slow moving uh, uv okay so for that particular purpose it is going to use ncs as this one the false one okay if it is true then it is going to use 158 so 119 what exactly it is telling 119 is telling that this NCF that is a cyclic interval okay it is telling now you can get 64 different period sequence okay considering this as a base sequence which you need to base sequence we have already uh, got it okay the base sequence and we will do the cyclic shift to get the first sequence the second sequence as by doing the cyclic shift of the base sequence by 1 into 119 samples likewise the third sequence fourth sequence till 31 we are going to be get it by this particular calculation by 119 sample which we got it from here it will keep doing the cyclic shift and keep generating that 64 preamble so this is how exactly your preamble is generated.